Hello everyone, welcome back to Airlines Quest. Today we're diving into the exciting world of commercial aviation with a roundup of the biggest news from the 2024 Farnborough Air Show for Airbus. Let's start with a big one, Vietjet's firm order for 20 Airbus A330 NEO aircraft. This is a huge deal for several reasons. First, it's Vietjet's first ever wide-body order, signaling the airline's ambition to expand beyond its traditional low-cost narrow-body model. Second, the A330neo will allow Vietjet to target long-haul international routes, potentially opening up new markets in Europe, Australia, and North America. Lastly, this order also highlights the growing importance of the Southeast Asian market for aircraft manufacturers. Vietjet plans to use these A330neo not just for long-haul flights, but also on high-capacity regional routes. This flexibility is key for an expanding, low-cost carrier looking to optimize its network. The choice of the A330neo is interesting. It offers excellent fuel efficiency and range, making it ideal for Vietjet's growth plans. However, it's worth noting that the smaller A330-800 variant continues to struggle, with most airlines opting for the larger Dash 900. This order is also a vote of confidence in the post-pandemic recovery of air travel, especially in the Asia-Pacific region. Vietjet clearly believes that demand will be strong enough to support a significant fleet expansion by the time these aircraft start arriving. Next up, let's talk about SMBC Aviation Capital's order for 22 additional Airbus A320neo aircraft, bringing their total recent commitment to 42 planes. This is significant for a few reasons. It underscores the continued dominance of the A320neo family in the single-aisle market. The choice of the Pratt & Whitney GTF engine is noteworthy, especially given the recent issues with this engine type. As one of the world's largest aircraft lessers, SMBC's orders are a strong indicator of where they see airline demand heading. The A320neo has been a massive success for Airbus, offering significant fuel efficiency improvements over previous generations. For lessers like SMBC, having a portfolio of these in-demand aircraft is crucial for attracting airline customers. However, the elephant in the room is the ongoing issues with the Pratt & Whitney GTF engines. Many airlines have faced groundings and disruptions due to required inspections and repairs. SMBC's continued commitment to GTF-powered aircraft suggests they believe these problems will be resolved and that the long-term benefits of the engine outweigh the current challenges. This order also reflects the growing importance of aircraft leasing in the industry. As airlines seek to maintain fleet flexibility and manage capital expenditure, working with lessers like SMBC has become increasingly common. Now, let's shift our focus to Asia. Bhutan national carrier Drukar has signed a Memorandum of Understanding for 3A320neo and 2A321XLR. This might seem like a modest order, but it's fascinating for several reasons. The inclusion of the A321XLR highlights the appeal of this new long-range narrowbody, even for smaller national carriers. It's also a significant fleet expansion for Bhutan's national airline, potentially transforming its route network. The A321XLR, in particular, is an aircraft to watch. Its exceptional range for a single-aisle jet could allow Drukhair to launch direct flights to Europe or Australia, opening up new tourism opportunities for Bhutan. This order also ties into Bhutan's broader development plans, including the expansion of Galefu Airport and the creation of a new mindfulness city. It's a great example of how air connectivity can drive economic growth in emerging markets. The long lead time on this order, with deliveries not starting until 2030, is also noteworthy. It suggests that smaller airlines are having to plan far in advance to secure delivery slots for popular aircraft types.